and I got on the scale again after eating a big lunch and a bunch of fishing sinkers and now weigh 95 kilos. That sandwich looks good. And this time it looks like I'm losing around three to four kilos, but it's hard to tell from all the water spray. And I really thought it would this give me ripped. more lift. Look at his biceps. It feels like it has more Look at than his four veins. kilos of kickback. But maybe he has a it's smiley not face on his apron too. Lift as I'm not holding the hose tightly against my body. Then I figure I might get more thrust if I take off the nozzle, resulting in more water flow. More thrust, yes. Nah, now it looks like Alexa. The pressure washer needs the nozzle to build up pressure. Then I thought I might be able to make it stronger if I opened up the handle and lost these tiny screws in the grass. Nice move. Which didn't help either, and looks like I'm only getting five kilos of thrust. So I'm gonna need more power. And I found these even stronger industrial petrol powered pressure washers, which will deliver 20 liters of water a minute at 5,000 PSI, which might be able to get me in the air if I have multiple of them. But before I hired them, I decided to see if my arms were even capable of supporting enough thrust to get me off the ground. So I made this pulley system, which I can add weight to and will pull up my arms in the same direction as the pressure washers. Now, if I want to get off the ground, I need to be able to support 45 kilos of upwards force in each arm. But first, tried out the system with 20 kilos. Now, some of you have probably noticed that I've moved house, and this wasn't my choice. And it turns out, landlords don't like it when you film yourself destroying stuff and blasting holes in your ceiling. And the new garage is not- Shout out to the empty Greek yogurt bucket that he probably used to put loose screws and random tools in. Nice, but doesn't have the crappy DIY feel of my old place, so I made sure to replicate some of the most recognizable features, like this blade fan and some of the holes that my old place had. So some let's of the just holes. hope the new landlord doesn't watch this video. Also, lucky for me, my grandpa died, so I got a bunch of his tools from the 50s to add to my garage, like this drill press, a I cool hate vice, when people say a nice big tank of gas like for the welder. and most excitingly, a tool I've always wanted to use. What the Child hell? Labor, which should allow me to Child make labor. things much quicker. Okay, so I went outside and added 40 kilos to the rope, which was really hard to support. Hot, 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 hot. And hurt my hand heaps. And that is even without the threat of being blasted open by water. So I can't imagine how hard it's going to be with the pressure washers. Okay. But I decided to hire the four big ones anyway. And I didn't realize how hard it would be to hire this many pressure that washers. As most places only have one big one. And then when I finally found a place that had four, I didn't consider that I needed a cover story as to why I needed them. And then I, when I was on the Luca, phone, I they panicked three months. and for some reason told them I needed four to clean my kitchen. So Kenards, if you're watching, here's me doing the dishes. And even though they seem confused, they still delivered four giant pressure washers. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, just four of them. Thank you. Thank you. Hot. Okay, before I put them all on me, there are a couple of things I still need to do. Obviously, I can't hold four pressure washers, so I need to make some kind of brace for my arms, which will help me stabilize them, but also means I'm attached to the pressure washers, so I'm going to fly wherever they take me. And I made the brace out of this square bar, which I cut into arm-sized pieces. I then welded on some right angle pieces for the rope to go through, and then also welded another brace on the end, which should help me hold my body weight against it in a similar way to crutches. Then I tied on the pressure washers, creating this almost illegal looking device. And then comes the most important step, which I'll is like dipping the end device. of the brace in the sponsor of today's video, PayPal Honey. Honey is the number one shopping tool in America, but what? I like to think of it as being more great deal too. And when you, doesn't matter what is and not washes on honey, and add it to your money myself when I fall down and then pulled out this old record player to use <laughs> as a platform. Then because I only have one hose, I borrowed some more from my neighbor who was strangely supportive of what I was trying to do. And now I have four 5,000 pressure washers hooked up to four separate water supplies with a combined pressure of 20,000 PSI and 80 liters per minute flow rate, 80 times more than my mate. Okay, now, before going straight to the four pressure washers, I just want to see what two feel like without an arm brace. Mm. 
knocked over. Holy sh! What was okay, that? So the bad, the bad thing is, it's like getting electrocuted because when it pushes up to this position, I can't let go of my grip. <laughs> it's it's pulling away. So hard into my His accent disappeared at right. first. So I need he was yelling it. so loudly. That's insane. That's fine. This one is a million times stronger than this one. And that wasn't a good idea. But luckily the nozzles want to fly up away from my feet. Although if they do cut them off, I will weigh less. Also the scales weren't displaying mm. much more weight loss than the 3000 PSI mm. pressure washer. But then I realized something. These pressure washers are rated to a flow rate of 20 liters per minute, but my neighbor's garden hose only outputs eight liters per minute. So unless these pressure washers pull out more water somehow, they aren't producing as much power as they could be. So I got this external pump, which has a flow rate of 7,200 liters per hour, which is 120 liters per minute, and then got these old sewerage hoses, which were a little too small. So I used this heat gun to loosen them up before shoving the pump into the hose's urethra. Which now pump this out guy. heaps more water. And after connecting the new hoses, <laughs> I tested out the braces with two pressure washers. Yeah, I figure I should test with uh, just two first. Just considering how much one of those kicked, like. Looking at people while eating chicken, sick. To control. You also look like an orc. I feel like a Vietnam War guy. Which side? To flame throwers and children. Oh, yeah, great. The losing side. At least you're on the, the correct end of it. I'm going to be turning the stuff on over here. I'll be like directly down the nozzle from it. Okay, yeah, you can turn it on. The goal is to lift himself with the pressure hoses. Okay, these feel way stronger than the normal garden hoses and were pushing me back really hard and I couldn't really keep them in one spot and even allowed me to do this, which doesn't look very impressive on camera, but felt very cool in my head. So now That's it's time you eat for a wing. all four okay. pressure washers. But before I did that, I wanted to see what would happen to my head if the four pressure washers somehow did slip out of my hands and pointed directly at my face. Bone. Okay, so in this order, we're gonna turn these ones on first. Yep, yeah. we're gonna turn them on first. Okay. And then, then you'll turn these ones I'm on. I'm turning on all of them. Huh? I'm turning all of them on. You're gonna turn all of them on. And then if I want you to stop, I'll point at one and then mm. go like this. So I go like... Your hands are... You're going to be holding these. You okay. can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just turn them all off. Yeah, I'm just... glad you told me before <laughs> I tried Chicken to... turned out good. <laughs> you killed <Not> me. <laughs> and the power of these four washers together was insane. The only way to describe the feeling is kind of as if a wet man was pushing back on my underarms while spitting on my face. Very specific, he must have experience. What the f <laughs> What? Wait, I, I wanted to eat the watermelon no, afterwards. There's no watermelon. Day. <laughs> what? Well, I didn't Is it any good? I did not expect it to look like that. Dude, it's like it's turned into a milkshake as well. Uh, it's so it frothy. Like a slushy. That's delicious. Mm. It's actually not that bad. Not Ooh, wait, just wait, eat water watermelon that? off That's the amazing. floor. Tastes a bit like pool water. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's full of chlorine. <laughs> And after a snack, I had enough confidence to continue. So with the wheelchair on standby, we were good to go. And Alexa turned on all four pumps. And although I look very graceful here, <laughs> it may surprise you to know that I didn't really have any control of the movements my body was making, nor could I let go of the trigger. I also couldn't scream loud enough over the pressure washers to tell Alexa to turn them off. That was painful, dude. You're telling me to turn it off and you're shooting at the machine that I meant to turn off. I'm like... <laughs> oh, I couldn't really control it. It's bad because you start... You start off with, like, strength. You know, but then 
the longer you're doing it, it's just like, I don't know, holding 15 kilos up. You get really, really tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you just start to go. And then once you go a bit floppy, your arm just keeps going. So I decided to have another go, but this time with the washers closer to my body and securely in my underarms, but also with the scale Ooh. to see how much force I was getting. I feel like this is a bad idea. This, this part is, no, nope, painful. And the scale was saying I was losing about 50 kilos, going from 110 to 60, inch, which is a lot of force. What? Then I'm I trying to look to away from jumping. the feet, dude. Me and you. Now, it doesn't really look like anything is happening, but I did feel like I was getting a little bit more airtime than usual. And I'm not trying to say I was anywhere close to flying, but it did look pretty cool. And in the slow-mo, you can see that I actually seem to get a bit of extra height and fall slower than usual. Or that could just be the wobble from the pressure washers and the slow-mo from the camera, making it look like that. So I gave it a couple more goes, but my altitude remained pretty similar. And with these pressure washers, I was getting around 12.5 kilos each, meaning I would need eight of these to get me off the ground, plus the weight of the pressure washers, so more like 10 of these. Dang. So unless I magically lose 50 kilos, I don't think these pressure washers are gonna make anyone fly today. Why doesn't he get somebody that weighs much less and tests on yeah, them? You can come with me. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Come on, come on. Child endangerment. Thank you. Can we put this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, just, yeah, yeah, keep it like that. He's gonna tape it to this kid? I sure hope this is his kid and not someone else's. Thanks for watching. Kid wasn't Thanks on. Thanks for watching. If you like that, please subscribe Man, and check out sucks. some of my other videos. Oh, that sucks. You should have, you should have kept, kept the kid on there. Oh, that's funny. All right, Discord, what else you got for me? The LA Speed Story. One day it was really cool. Speed Story. It's called the LA Speed Story. And I, it was just a story about one day it was really cool being, being SR-71 pilot. Walter and I were doing a training mission around the United States where you just were building up hours and time. And we take off at a Beal. Shake out that shirt, Idaho, brother. Rip on up to uh, Montana, zip across Denver, hang a right turn in Albuquerque, out over Los Angeles, up to Seattle, back into Sacramento, two hours, 21 minutes. What? And you just do that for, Sacramento? and you do it backwards, and you hit a tanker. Too. It was just, just to gain crew coordination, get build your hours. We're on our last training mission. We're over Tucson. I can see downtown LA from Tucson. We're at 89,000 feet. I can see the whole Western United States bathed in a warm October fall glow. I can see the chain of Rocky Mountains from Canada to New Mexico. That I can, is so I can just cool. see the most beautiful picture laid at my feet and the air as smooth as glass. Not a gauge moving in the cockpit. It was perfect. Now I'm thinking, we bad. And I feel sorry for Walter because he has to monitor five radios in the back seat. So I flipped the switch up just to listen and LA Center is controlling, they control all, when you fly Southwest Air, they're the guys controlling everybody. But we're above controlled airspace. So they, they have us on their scope, but they're not talking to us. Now there's controllers all over the country, Jacksonville Center, Chicago Center, Seattle Center, you know. It's the same guy. They all talk the same. And it's really cool the way they talk, because they make you feel important as a pilot. They don't just say, yeah, okay, here's your thing. 
they make you feel really cool. So sure enough, there, this was pre-GPS day. Some Cessna guy has to know his ground speed. Uh, LA Center Cessna November Tango Alpha. You got a no ground computers, speed. No computers. No computers. Calibrated incorrectly. So what was it? Four planes crashed? Man. Insane. Read out for us. Now, Center would like to say, who cares? Get off free. <laughs> but no, he'll talk to him like he I read over like 100 pages of this Boeing report, dude. I can't believe I did, but I did. Unreal. He's John Glenn. Cessna November Alpha, we show you 90 knots, nine zero knots on the ground. And they do that sing song, but that's how they talk. And it makes you feel kind of. Why? Because Boeing uh, had these new planes that had this auto. Um, I forget the exact word. Auto not autopilot, but auto um, measuring system. Now I have to look it up because you guys are going to kill me. Um, Boeing. Mm, it was an autopilot. Accidents. Okay. So there's, it's an auto, it, it is a sort of autopilot. It says it's an, the automated system. So it's like a new technology that they were using these planes, right? And there were like four crashes or so back to back over the past few years before, right before COVID because they were using these planes. And as a result, the pilots were trusting these machines. and. Typically, pilots would actually be like calculating these things and not depending on an automation. So it was calibrated incorrectly and it nosedived these planes, man. So, like, if they weren't depending on that, they would have been able to do the job and see that they could, you know, need to change. I was going to say altitude, but um, that's what happened. And the like really dark part about it is they buried the information about how these systems work so deeply in manuals. And there was all of this information that they should have been giving the pilots that they didn't. So it was even worse. That it makes it that much worse. Cool. Right after that, a twin. Yeah, but there were like four flights. Here. Boeing. Lion Air, Ethiopian Air. Um, there's one in China. Here are deaths. 346 deaths. So, so no, it was actually two that... 157... I thought it was more than this, but I think there were issues with other flights that, like, grounded. So maybe they didn't... Um, they didn't lose the entire plane of people, but... Um, yeah, look. They grounded the flights on... Um, There's to a Lion Air Flight 610, which was Indonesia, and then Ethiopian Air Flight going from Ethiopia to Kenya. It's pretty dark, man. I think the real sinister thing is, like, again, how they didn't get uh, really inform the pilots um then it got really deep into like their relationship with southwest airlines and how basically they were 
they were able to build their air their planes based on essentially a credit system with Southwest. Or and vice versa, like they both benefited each other. It's really dark. Anyways, let's watch this. Bonanza came up to pimp the guy for speed, I guess, and right after that, a twin Bonanza came up to pimp the guy for speed, I guess, and L.A. Center, Twin Beach, uh, whatever. You got a ground speed readout for us? And Center likes it. God, it's Friday. Why me? God, please just get off. Freak. But he's gonna talk to him like he's Air Force One. Twin Beach, shall we show you one twenty one two zero knots on the ground? And right after that, a Navy F-18 out of Lemoore popped up on frequency. And you knew it was a Navy guy because he talked really slick on the radio. <laughs> Center Dusty 5-2 speed check. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. Dusty 5-2 has a ground speed indicator and that million dollar F-18 cockpit. It's right there in the heads up display. Why is he calling Center to broadcast his speed? <laughs> uh, I get it. We have just the meanest, baddest, fastest military jet in the valley today. We're taking our little Hornet jet over Mount Whitney and ripping across Death Valley. And we want everyone from Fresno to the coast to know what real speed is. And you can almost hear a little, a little glee in the controller's voice like, we have put an end to this. <laughs> Dusty 5-2, we show you 620, 620 knots across the ground. And it was that across the ground. See that little knife like, I hope nobody else has the nerve to get on frequency now. And there wasn't an airliner from Seattle to San Diego that wanted to be next on freak. It's sort of an etiquette thing amongst flyers. And a 12-year-old was reaching for the mic button. <laughs> and I thought, oh, no, wait, Walter's in charge of the radios. I flew single seat all those years, but I'm in the family model now. And I, I want it. No, it's the Navy that must die and it must die now. And I, and I thought, no, but if I do, I will well, upset Walter, and I want us to be a good crew. And I, at that moment, I heard a click of the mic button in the back seat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Walter and I became a crew at that moment. <laughs> in his best innocent voice, L.A. Center, Aspen 3-0. Have you got a ground speed readout for us? <laughs> you could almost hear a collective gasp on Freak, like, oh, the poor fools didn't hear the previous transmissions. Oh, they, they got crushed like a grape. It's, it's just a pilot thing. But Center had to give you that same voice. Aspen 3-0, we show you 1,992 knots <laughs> across the ground. When I knew I was going to like Walter a lot is when he came back and said, Center, we're showing a little closer to 2,000. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we did not hear another transmission on that frequency <laughs> all the way to the coast. The king of speed lived, the Navy had been flamed, and a crew had been formed. <laughs> For just a moment, it was absolutely fun being the fastest guys on the block. Air Force. Guys, guys, watch out! The fastest guy on the block. Why does it? What are you doing? Sword? Welcome to Durango, Mexico. This is E-Pilot Travel. I'm Jenny. And this is Kevin. And we are two Mexican Americans from Chicago traveling throughout Mexico in search of home. You guys want to watch this food thing or something else?
Anybody? Anybody? Are you guys? Did you guys fall asleep on me? What's happening here? Uh. No, maybe some. That or maybe some brain rot. Hey, when was the last time we checked in on Great Value Brand at Walmart? Because I have some concerns. About some. Hey, when was the last time we checked in on Why Great Value Brand? Why isn't it letting me? There we go. <laughs> Hello! Blue Kiwi, thank you for the tier one. Welcome to my stream. No. Get the fuck out of my building right now! Fucking. How many times do I have to tell you fucking people? Take the goddamn belt off! And you can keep recording me all you fucking want. You're a goddamn worthless piece of shit. Yeah, that video where that general contractor thought it was okay Whoa. to slap a woman employee in the face because Whoa. he got upset over something. A video I couldn't even put the whole thing on TikTok. They pulled it. You had to go to Instagram Whoa. or Twitter to see it as far as under my name anyway. Well, um, in that, I asked the Phoenix Police Department, why wasn't he arrested? And uh, they issued a response, or rather a statement on the misinformation circulating about an assault suspect. I'm going to read this uh, the way that it reads to me. <clears throat> Phoenix Police Department is aware of a video circulating online which shows the assault of a woman on a job site. Why is this showing me this? Do you know the Buongiorno ragazzi! Gio, allora, come stai? Oh, beautiful, ok. Allora. Love it, not too much oil, don't forget, salmon is very oily. Oh, love it. We're on the barbie, you kid, we are on the barbie! Uh, yes, ok, reduction, what's that, the bird blanc? That looking good, oh nice, 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 I love that. That little bit of cream stabilizes the bird blanc, stops it from breaking. That looks good, beautiful, little taste. Allora. Mm -hmm. Alara. <laughs> okay, you're gonna pass it through the sieve. Good man. Alara. No, okay. <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord. Bella, bellissima. The skin, the bacon of the sea. Kids, honestly, you're wasted in Italy. Come to London. That's a lot of herbs in there. Or you're gonna um. do it on top of the salmon. Where? Yes. Okay. Dude, uh, well done. Finally, a decent Italian chef. Have a word with Gino, will you please? Ciao, he ragazzi! Really, he really just said a decent Italian chef. Wow, he knows how to piss people off. I uh, love it. Um, by the way, I don't like sauces on my salmon. I'm not a fan. Salmon it says, is so flavorful and can be so heavy as it is. Just give me lemon. Lemon. Lemon and some seasoning. Don't need don't need a sauce. Why are you speaking? I think you've licked me. 
What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can put that mental freeze when these people talk too much. Put that shit in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. I, what you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes wow. numb? Wow. Aí, tubarãozinho, você Brasil. quer 22 reais ou... Ok, ребят, наверняка вы слышали, что в Америке в одной упаковке вместо 10 яиц, которые мы все привыкли, дюжина, 12, но это вы слышали, а вы знали, что проверять нужно? Her eyeballs are popping out of her socket. Have you been drinking in the last 24 hours, Danielle? Yes, I have. Okay, what have you drunk? Like a pumpkin of whiskey. Big deal. <laughs> I think she said a pint pops. of whiskey, okay. but drink it on. It it tri damn it! It translated to a pumpkin of whiskey. She was like doing that. <laughs> No. How to make a flying paper butterfly. This design is elite. This design wow. is very simple, yet extremely effective. This seems like a lot of work for a whole lot of nothing. What is going to happen? Just making mini food art. Yep. Why? This is... Why? Where's the end result? Not even to show us the whole thing? I want my money back. The new songs. What? I feel like. What is up with these wrecks, man? Second worst day of my life. No, no sad stuff. At Southwestern High School in Indiana, the kids drill. How y'all doing, bro? Cool, man. How are you guys? Trying to sell? Yeah. What y'all got for me, man? It's all together or it's separate? Separate. All right, I'll take care of you first. All brand new? Happy Mother's Day. This is Kensington, Philadelphia, the center of America's drug epidemic overrun with a drug known. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor dog. What a good boy. Yep. <laughs> She almost vomited. <laughs> Genius. What was the white stuff? I missed it, it was typing. Oh, is he making meatloaf? Oh, I hate meatloaf. Gross.
She doesn't look like she's nervous. Minion and I took over watching the ducklings for a little bit while the moms are off having a bath. These guys are super cute and unbelievable. He looks like she's gonna hurt. There's no better feeling Help. than running your hand through a pile of little ducklings. I mentioned before. My wrecks are all Spani in Spanish or Russian and Brazilian. It's like it knows my fan base. I don't know how, but I managed to get stuck on. British and I'm not even Kong, logged in. Where you'll see British. <laughs> Scary. You'll see British people order Chinese food, and it will be French fries, fried rice, chicken balls, all smothered in a gravy and curry sauce. All I have to say is, on AAPI month, is this who we are? Wow. Anyways, being on the side of TikTok made me realize that I haven't had honey walnut shrimp in a while, so I made it. This used to be my favorite thing to get at Panda Express, and I would remember the workers being so stingy. Bro. Every time you order this, you get seven pieces of shrimp exact. If you work at Panda Express, I'm cool. You can give me eight, nine. The sugar concert on Sunday. I'm not. Hey, I just had a little bit of a weird request. So I make YouTube videos and I mow people's lawns and I edge up their sidewalks and the curbs and everything. And I noticed yours was getting a little bit overgrown over there. I was wondering if I could do it for free for you. Give me one sec. Okay. Brazil! Uh, she's doing clay. Claymation. Wow. Let's make a delicious Wagyu burger. Wagyu? Gordon, you're killing me. I'll take them onions, though. I don't, I'm not like, I love eggs. I just, the. Just give me a cheeseburger, man. Chia trên đầu ông này quá là ngố. Thì trong đây có cái đầu quá là. Top dance is January twenty twenty. What I ate at Olive Garden during their. No. I almost cut a piece of myself. Whoa, that guy has blue Bowie eyes, a blue and a brown. Shut up! I will chunkle you for that. What is the point of this? I can't stand it. Oddly satisfying. Shredding everything. Bobby's <laughs> Nalgi, a palace roll. <laughs> Tic Tac fine. Ew! No, why is it pink? Oh, it's a wax. Who scare me? Full slouch forward posture. Shoulders roll forward. Her earlobe is like way. Como estamos en invierno y tenemos muchísimo frío y vamos a preparar una sopa de mondongo. Pon acá eso, le dando el menudo super bien para que nos quede bien limpiecito. Porque la sopa de mondongo que vamos a hacer hoy no es cualquier sopa, es una sopa totalmente. ¡Que vivan! ¿Cómo está? Comprando una Ferrari. And I keep getting recommended like the same four people too. What the hell? <clears throat> Open TikTok. 
She's got the Bowie eyes too. Mm. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> so emotional. So emotional. Uh. <sighs> My character's name is Groot, and... Oh, Denise! Left, right. Left, right. Two more times. Left. Why are my... Recreating Doja Cat's Mad Gallum. What you know about... Didn't this guy get canceled, like, a thousand times? I'm so confused. I can't keep up. What you know about rolling down in... What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much, but that shit in slow motion, yeah I feel like an astronaut in the ocean, I What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much, but that shit is <laughs> I feel like I cracked the code on the best brownies of all time. Here's how to make them. These brownies actually start with... Nope. <laughs> Damn, no brownie. Dude, 10th time I've seen you, lady. When your client says, you can do anything, you want to my hair. Unwrap and then mesh. Minha mãe virou sapata. Brasil! Gachi. Gachi. Bueno, familia, el día de hoy, aprovechando que fui a la tienda por vegetales frescos, ¿verdad? Voy a estar organizando el refrigerador porque ya tenía cero calorías, ¿verdad? Organizing my fridge. So put all the organizing videos, man. The potato Santa. So cute. Cutest over ever. Robert, always nice to see you. How you been? <laughs> Bread coin purse. Just left Sephora. I picked up a couple of things. She's got little hand sanitizer. That was like She really bought that hand sanitizer. I almost fell for that shit too. And I said, it's $10. $78? $78. Nope, not buying it. When my mom was a bartender, I used hand to sanitizer does not cost that much. She worked at when they would do a taco bar, and I would make this chicken for chicken tacos or nachos or whatever anyone wanted to use it for. And I swear everyone would come. Oh, up that looks good. Oh Ooh, God. maybe I should make chicken. tostados with my leftover so chicken. Because it was literally three ingredients. I used to use chicken breast, but I prefer thighs now. Yep, juicier. This girl too, keep getting her. What you know about Gritty, he's literally hitting the gritty right now. Got a white boy on my roster. Got a white boy on my also roster. This. He be feeding me pasta and lobster. Could you send me a post? Good morning. You know what I'm so sick of? 
You know what I'm so sick of seeing? And you're, we haven't got it yet. We haven't got recommended one yet. But it's... I get recommended these videos, both on TikTok and YouTube shorts, where it's this view, is this shot right here. And the person is like, okay, so today I'm going to talk about um, the latest uh milf manor episode let's break it down and then they start doing something and they're like today it was this girl making a some drink and i was it made me so angry and i was like why what are you even doing but then i was like fast forwarding it to see what the hell she was doing and she kept taking out like jugs like how many jugs of liquid do you have in your fridge i don't know how many and then it's like this shake the jug Okay, and then Disco Mommy came, and then another jug, and then I was like, what is going on? What is going on? Anyways, I can't stand that. I can't, I can't stand it, man. Free! So I just bought this vacuum for... Is that an animal dogs. inside? It has a bunch of attachments. This one is the oh, Furbo one. Because she is a beast of a shedder, and let I me thought tell that was you, like an animal inside. This dog is loving, loving. Who told you to open the door? How I cannot open the door? I was supposed to open this. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, huh? Go come inside. Come. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I want to show you how truly anything can be made into music. Put. Pig. What? <laughs> Pig house. <laughs> Cat. Toy. <laughs> okay. That works. Yeah. That works? Okay. Dang. Pencil. Sharpener. Sharpener. Star. Fish. Dude, this kid, what is, where is, where is she at? She's not here. She just accepted defeat. Space. Dude, that kid. <laughs> SOS. Put. Whoa, she just, she just checked out. <laughs> this is day nine Untitled. of my series of making a batch of pasta dough, but the egg yolks double every time, and this is officially the largest batch I've ever made, 256 yolks. This was quite the process making this what? batch. It took me a lot longer than I planned and gave me quite the arm workout. I ended up having to break it up into three balls of dough and then combine them all what? at the end just to make it a lot easier on myself. Over the past couple of days, I was able to connect with quite a few local charities and shelters, so all this pasta will be rolled out and cooked tomorrow and then distributed to be donated on Wednesday. This is day nine of my Dang, series of making the batch of pasta dough, but the no, every time. And this is such trash. Oh my god, she has a fucking cat in there. No. <laughs> I suck at making tang hoo. Yeah, I know. Oh, they're so cute. The Mini cupcake. Rate the magic trick. Watch bang. Link. What? I'm gonna make some lunch for Carter and Jonah. I'm gonna keep it super simple today. I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh, we saw that. What I eat in a day, I started off with this juicy bagel, topped it with some ripe avo, and it really- Nope, she said avo, I'm out. Nobody says avo. Don't make it a thing. Do you have 15 Nope. I don't know, these like, whenever they come out with some new chopping device for the kitchen, they never work as well, I swear. I'm t that, that looks enticing, but I'm, I'm going to tell you. Slap chop! Exactly! Like the slap chop! It made that, first of all, that thing broke right away. And it made big chunks. Like, when you, when you want to use a mandolin. The 
you want like, well, it depends what you're doing, right? But the thing I love the most about the mandolin is like when you can get those paper thin slices for really specific things. And then you can change the the size, is, of course. So like if you're doing zucchini, I kind of want something in the middle. Anyways, uh, like, oh. Slap chop guy? No, I think that was the squeak. The the towel guy. Sh sh uh, sham wow, sham wow, dude. I don't remember the slap chop guy though. You need to learn how to make your own pasta sauce. Into a pan over high heat, add two tablespoons olive oil. And once the oil begins to shimmer, judge add this. one dice medium onion. And after about two to three minutes, three to five cloves of Wrong way to do the onions, Next, but okay. Red pepper flakes and stir until aromatic. Pour in one nope, pepper flakes going at the end. And break them into chunks. Nope, you can do that with a wooden spoon. And a few shredded basil leaves. Basil at the end. At least ten minutes. Store it in the same container and you'll have nope, definitely do not store it in the it's same container. Absolutely not. Sauce and tastes better than anything you've ever had. Fired. Please, no more of this. I agree you with that part. I agree with no more of that. But <laughs> I should serve what? Okay. First of all, did you see garlic? Because I did not. I did not. I make your own pasta sauce. Into a pan over high heat, add two tablespoons olive oil. And once the oil begins to shimmer, add in one diced medium onion. And after about two to three minutes, three to five cloves of minced garlic. Oh, he did do garlic. Okay, he did garlic. Okay, I double checked. All right, that's not how you do it. Anyways. Um. What you know about rolling down? Why do we keep getting Magic Boy in that same song? I know. The video acaba quando meu namorado fala não pra... Backseat cooking. I could, I could back, dude. Okay, I just told Webb this before co it was before COVID, so I had, or dirt, maybe it wasn't before, but it was like right at the start. I was like, I'm gonna do food reaction videos because I could so well, and I never did it, and then it blew up, especially because then during pandemic, everybody started doing those stupid like, uh just those fake cooking videos where they made stuff gross on purpose for reactions so then that kind of stuff blew up another thing i love about being married is that sam and i will have a she eating little caesars to only eat out once a week and then it'll be like the middle of the week and neither of pineapple time to make dinner and then no one you did talking. remember the gross nutella yeah but i was gonna try and do it more often like make it a thing and make it a thing on TikTok because I still wasn't really posting to TikTok. I was like, oh, that'll be good for TikTok stuff. Um, eh, but I never did. Anyways. This is a real human, human brain. brain. And you are a real human brain learning about this real human brain so that you may have a smarter real human brain. This is a... Fucking bad. Cuando la Julia quiere chicle de mi esposa y no le dan, miren. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Coming from the Greek word mastica. <laughs> To chew, masticate. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. What's up, TikTok? So my thing is like a nigga white meat. Got another shorty shit in that light. What the hell? About to catch another fight. No. I just want to have a good night. Dude, it looks just like him. That's insane. Fabio Jack, official Fabio Jackson. Funny you had the monkey video and then Michael Jackson. Yeah. That looks disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, do your punch reverse kick. 
Stop. I'll never forget the guy who kicked my bottle off. Makes you do your punch reverse kick. Ooh. You pick any any actual woman in this room. In, in what? I'm dazed, man. I'm dazed. I was waiting for another drop, but okay. I'm still dazed. Not you again. Only put the pancake seasoning in your noodles. We can't be friends. I'm about to show y'all how I season my noodles every time I make. This is two packs of noodles. So you want to see my full Funko Pop Toy Story collection? I got you. We got Woody and RC, Slinky, Mr. Potato Head, Rex, Ham, Zer. So we haven't done an afternoon vlog in a Crystal. while. So we're gonna do one today. Great strawberry. Those tomatoes. Those tomatoes are hella good. I can't lie. I fell Creamed for them and they're really good. It's very simple to make and the perfect summer side dish. Start by shucking six ears of corn, then slice off the kernel. And I'm about to wake him up using both. Let's see who's better, McDonald's or Chick fil A. No. Hold up. I ran to get these. I got um these ones. Also, butterfly slay. And I'm gonna use. I think it's gonna be a. This looks so good. And this is the finished look. It's weird because it almost looks fake. It almost looks like a filter. Eligiendo en un supermercado. Nona Pia. Yeah. Today's this lady birthday, is so right? cute. I'm making a meatball. On your birthday? Oh my god, you don't stop cooking. You gotta relax on your birthday. I like cook. Okay, and you want to do that on your birthday? Yeah. All right, show them. Let's show them what they're yeah, making. I love this lady. I started already. All right, let's see. Oh. I'm late. I'm late. Oh my god, it's a lot of meatballs. Yeah, yes, I did a lot. Then I put some. Woo. Frying up the meatballs on her birthday. How old did you turn, Nana? I'm 60. <laughs> You're 60? You're 60? <laughs> How old are you? 86 today. 86. Wow. Beautiful. Still cooking. And you've been frying meatballs for how long now? Hey. You love to cook, even on your birthday. Yeah. Well, we're going to go out to eat for dinner, right? Yeah, I know we're going to have for lunch. Today. They're not All burnt. Right. We love you. Everyone They're brown. Loves you. Everyone wishes you a happy birthday. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Nona Pia. Yeah. I've got a limited income. I actually run a lawn care business. I do free work. Shit's cut, bitch. Uh. I'm out of school, so I've been working on my rolling skills. Roll of what? It's pretty unconventional, but it works. You'll need some seaweed and about a cup of rice. She. Oh, I'm out. I'm over it. Can't handle that. Nope. Rice needs to be hot. Repeat. Rice needs to Let's be make it a thousand hot. A while back, I made a hundred layered Oreo, and you all loved it. Then I saw a comment that said, "Do an a thousand layer Oreo." Every double stuff family size package has four. Ah, uh, sponsored. Compre a su encomenda. Brazil. Bueno, huevón. Bienvenidos al otro video log del Fercho. Hoy transmitiendo desde Titiribí, Arizona. Mañana. Is this just a picture? It's not a video. Did my internet say no more TikTok? Oh, and it is TikTok. Not me. Oh. Right, off you go. We'll meet at the end. 
I nope. told myself I was going to wake up early this morning before the kids <laughs> and get started on my day, but that just didn't happen. And I if you my dog, then chew my bone. No. No. Oh, there's my precious. Bro. No. Tell me Oddly satisfying. I got what you need. The squish. The squish of the sponge is oddly satisfying. It's day three of in restaurant training, which. This couple again. This girl again. Blueberry pancake with sausage on a breakfast. No. The sweet and salt don't get wrapped I'm together. Please stop that. Fine. I'll react to it. Blueberry pancake with sausage breakfast on a stick. Why has it got to be on a stick? You just, you're wasting more time. In a jar, okay. So that sausage looks nasty. No. You're dip, no. You have a sausage griller waffle grill. It's instead of a waffle press. That's disgusting. No, do not put the sweet on my freaking sausage, man. Unless we're talking about a different kind of sweet. Corn flour? You don't have a sausage. How do you know? I'm really trying to make it more than what it is. It's Hi. Hi. You hungry? Come on, listen. No. Saturday night, which means it's time to prep for my wife's 24 hour shift in the hospital tomorrow. For breakfast, we're starting. Cottage cheese. I hate cottage. That's okay. You know, you guys sometimes ask me what's a food you hate, and there's not a lot of things I hate. Dill is one, but cottage. Okay, maybe I don't hate. Um, I strongly dislike cottage cheese. I like dill in, I only like dill in very limited dishes. Yes, I like Moroccan food. I do like fake, I've done like fake Moroccan dishes where I do like a, um, I mean, they're definitely like Americanized versions, but like a chicken. Okay. With like, we agree, dill is not great. Chicken with like olives, all, um, tomatoes like tagine style some whole grain mustard but like different ingredients Ooh, you know what i did a bunch i used to do one with chick i would do grate up carrots and apples and a little bit of celery but mostly carrots and apples olive oil i haven't done that in a long time some garlic and then I'll put the chicken in that and slow cook that. Ooh, that was good. I should, I haven't done that in a long time. Cause then the, the, ah. Uh, the, uh, no, pause. That's cool, but Cause then the carrot and apple, they just, they almost disintegrate. They turn into a mush and it's just like a thick sauce. It's not, it's not super sweet. Just a little bit. Turns into a really thick sauce. Mm, that's good. You auditioned for Twilight. I did. <laughs> Every year I buy something for my mothers and they never use it. So I have another one of these milk chocks. I didn't. So I, every year I buy. So I have another one of these milk chocks. I didn't love it the first milk time, but chocks? I was so excited when I bought it. So I I bought two. So now I'm stuck with this one. Um, so we're still gonna try it. Maybe for some reason I'll love it. just apply it as if you were. Oh, makeup. Oh yeah, milk. So I, From the very beginning, it was always Cook and Pope. I thought it was just a normal lamp, but when I turning it on. And then I guys, I'm not lying when I say Jesus is about Wordle Oh, end times TikTok. Oh no. It's really confusing. 
bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Welcome back to Making Coffee with Katie. Should I make this a coffee series? I don't know. Coffee with a K. Um, but anyway. No. This dude again. That's unreal. You walking me? Oh, I'm walking you. Literally. Who let the dogs out? Was put the same. Let me show you guys how to make a nice and crispy naked chicken. Dude. All right, next time I'll log in because this is really bad. I keep getting the same weird things and the same people. If you've got a long flight coming up and you need some ideas to make it more fun, just hit on the stewardess your son to make a blanket for. Oh, just sit back and relax. As the yeah, how did they manage to get? Uh, if you've got a long an empty middle seat. Let me ask you that. I got to make another painted cake. The customer requested that there be flowers. I cannot express how delicious these crispy Parmesan laced potatoes are. They're tossed in a zesty herby sauce and are just unbelievable. Wow. Pickle jar. We have pickle jars now. Why? The jar it came in isn't good enough? Why would you... That's like one thing you don't need to put in another jar. Mmm, thin mints. Oh no, we're on organized talk now. Is she sanitizing herself? <laughs> Who was that? So many devices. Uh-uh, did she just put mayo on apple? No, that had to be a cream, right? That'd be some... That had to be a cream, right? Why do we go from eating desserts to cleaning the toilet? I feel like she's just showing off all her fancy devices in her house. It's a tech house. True end game. Keeping the candy on the toilet. Just so many devices, man. Ow, my leg is asleep. Why am I still here? I'm too invested now. Airbrush makeup. Why are you massaging the face after the makeup? Why are you steaming the face after? The what is that thing? 
What is this? It's like she's sanitizing herself. And what is the guy that looked like he was gonna bop her on the head who like just disappeared 20 seconds in? Who cares? Good evening, having a good night? <laughs> He's the bacteria. No, he was still there though. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the 18 months. Hey, hey oh, uh, thank you for the 22 months. When we first started dating, we actually ended up... What is that? It looks like a worm. Stop! <laughs> Does it make you uncomfortable, Jeff? <laughs> New phobia unlocked! Dude, what the hell is that? I've never seen candy like that. It looks like the flypaper. Yeah, it does. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I can't look away. <laughs> It's on a loop, too. <laughs> oh, sick. <sighs> Bible or styrofoam. <laughs> I'm gonna make me a homemade KFC famous bowl. I know your ass wants some, so bring your ass. Yes, your let's said, see I'm this. I'm gonna make this as simple as possible, so follow me. So to this bowl, I've already cleaned and cut up my chicken into cubes, and I put a little avocado oil on there, and I'm finna season it high temperature, my way, yes, which is with some cayenne pepper, yes. some onion yes. powder, some black yes. pepper, some a little bit of yes. salt, of course the star of the show is yes. really chicken bouillon, and some garlic powder, yes, and some approved for a little bit of color, okay. Follow. Approved. So this is how we looking so far, all right? Yum, yum, yum. And what I'm about to do is get me a little bag, and I'm going to put all these spices in some flour with a little bit of cornstarch. Yes. Right here. here we go. Cornstarch a little extra crisp. A little bit more crisp because I don't have no butter. Same time. Milk. I'm not using no mustard. Same and, time. Um, I don't want to use no egg, and I just want to get herb and get this shit over it because I'm Egg will change the flavor. Hungry. So hold tight. She's right. All right, so this is how we looking so far. I don't already got it all battered and good to go. Now we can go put it in our oil, okay? Now, as for me and my household, we use old oil first, okay? It got a little bit of that leftover flavor. flavor. So, hold tight. <laughs> All right, now, in the meantime, in between time, while that's frying, I already started on the potatoes. In the meantime, in between the time. And I already got our corn ready to go, too. So, hold tight. Now, I could take a little bit of this here early. She sees the future. Some gravy from scratch, but guess what I'm going to do? Bam, check me out. Cause I don't feel like it. I might mix these together. I might not. I might just use. Oh man, that gravy I made on Thanksgiving was like the best gravy I ever made. Y'all look what I Oh god, that was so good. I had no business on there, but I'm finna use it. Cause look. Oh yes. Look how that chicken looking so far. Oh yes. Looking good. Okay, hold time. Okay, so now we're finna go on and finish off our mashed potatoes. Now, ordinarily, all I use is milk, butter, and salt. But tonight I'm feeling a little Some seasoning. So I put a little bit of parsley and a little bit of um garlic powder in here. But everything else no, I, ate. I did add. I'm good. So hold tight. I'm not All hungry. Right, so this is how the chicken looking so far. And we got our cheese in the back ready to go. We got our mashed potatoes. We got our corn. And we got our gravy. So let's put it all together. Yes, indeed. Don't that look delicious? My God. Is my this God. dish you call not from scrap or fast I food? Oh, no. I'm going to make. So she was recreating a dish from a fast food place. And I bet you it's even better. It's 100% better. Here's the thing, though. Outside of, outside of Thanksgiving leftovers, I can't do... I can't do my meat on my potatoes and corn. 
it's a thing. Especially fried, because then it's like, well, now you're getting it mushy. But separate, all that looks pretty delicious, except the packet gravy, because that stuff is always too salty. Gravy, the closest thing you have in Italy to gravy is, I don't know the word for it, but Raven. like, au jus. It's like this, if you make a chicken like I did tonight in the oven and you have the drippings and you scoop the drippings and you dress, or if you make rabbit, if you make rabbit in a pot with all that butter and then when you serve it, you take that, all those drippings and you put more of it on your rabbit or more of it onto your polenta. So... That's actually more that like that's the closest thing you have to gravy in Italy. In America, gravy is just thicker. Or what makes it gravy is that it's thick. So that's actually like the base of it is all of those things, all of that liquid. And then you just add like flour, cornstarch. Some people prefer one or the other. Some people prefer both. Um, and then basically any. Vegetables you want to throw in there. Onion is usually must. And garlic. Or, onion and garlic are usually must. Um, that's what gravy is. And it's thick. Most of all. It's much thicker than like the juice that you start with. And it's freaking delicious. Oh man. I put, I put like two different mushrooms in that gravy I did. Oh my god. Why don't I make gravy more often? Man, that was good. Why are my alerts so... Carrots are good for vision. Where'd that raid go? Uh, Slim Thick Vic. Thank you for the raid. What's up, raiders? Um, this is thick and delicious, too. Carrots are good for your eyes. Do you know if you cut... A carrot, like in a circle, just a piece of a carrot, just cut the end off, and then you look at the carrot. It looks like the human eye. Check it out next time you slice carrot. TikTok made me do it. I'm putting almond glue in my window to make it, like, not see-through. Honestly, it might be too much on the brush. But we'll see. Glue on your window? My strategy is to literally put it all the way onto the edge nope. and just wipe that off later. I haven't tried it with a regular paint roller, obviously, because this is my first time doing it. But it works really well with the sponge roller. Good luck cleaning that. Also, new pro tip. You have to do like this first because now I have to go back and like make that line blend. So, <laughs> fuck. And if you see like a little thin spot, you can just go over. I don't know why I'm telling you guys tips like I've done this before. <laughs> I guess my naked neighbor duties. So, as you can see, it's not perfect. So if this looks good. Dude, how are you going to clean that? If a bug flies onto it, dust is on it. That seems like a nightmare. 4.8 million likes. Do please for uh, please don't tell me 4.8 million people actually tried this. I sure hope not. You don't clean it. That's the point. Heathens. Back at it like a crack at it. Snatch. Uh, stuffed pickle. No, 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 come on. Good old Vienna Ooh. sausage. What does that mean? Why are you measuring this, kid? This is not good. <laughs> For comedic effect, Gordon. Oh, no, 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 you no, should no. know. Come on, seriously. I'm Ew. Stuffing a sausage inside a pickle. Okay, stop. Oh, there you go. A pickle Wellington. No, no. Oh, you're not gonna fry it. You're eating way too much fried food, kiddo. Cholesterol. No, come on. Five pickles I get, but no. I think you're a little bit pickled. Stop it. No. This coffee lid that I designed Gross. I think is gonna be a total game changer for people that just take way too long to drink their coffee. Because there's nothing worse than drinking coffee that's gone cold. So all you have to Rating my cat's reactions to their- Man, bangle cats are so cool. Oh, that's not a real bangle, but it's probably mixed. 
Anyways, Bengal cats are really cool. If my mother was Jennifer Lopez, I would cook and do her laundry because she's my mama. <laughs> if my mother was Jennifer Lopez, I would have the greatest dance moves on TikTok because I'll be learning from the best. Oh, that's sweet. Actually, I don't do TikTok dances a lot, which is weird. I should. You'd think that I would. Let me know if you want me to get into more TikTok dances. If my mother was Jennifer Lopez, I would wear the Versace green dress to my prom. That's smart. That is a good idea. Would you let them? Yes, I of course I would let them. And then it go back into the archive. If my mother was Jennifer Lopez, I would max out her credit card. I do believe that. The that first real answer. Believe. If my mother was Jennifer <laughs> Lopez, I would... Please just fed. I did come here looking for outdoor decor, but I you heard she's was mean. not expecting to find anything because I kind of written this place off. $12. Like, seriously, the last time... I met this kid at the Kings game. When? Uh, about a week ago. It is officially day one and night one of living in a van. It's currently 7.32 and our van is in complete night mode. We are currently setting up two and a half weeks. Medico es descubierto que sale con cuatro del hospital. Resulta que... Хорошо. using a door stop using a door instead do this is really a thing it's insane we do one big grocery haul a month and we may go back once or twice for dairy and produce but this stuff generally lasts us all month Another question we get asked is if we take things out of their packaging, how do we know when they expire? So I made a whole video dedicated to this question as well as where do we store our leftovers. I just got this pickle container and I'm all... Another pi I couldn't. I just couldn't. I couldn't. John Morant versus Steph Curry. Who has better handles? Here's how to use our new nose core patches. I just got back from grocery shopping at Meyer. Let me show you what I got. Two pineapples. Pineapples work buy one, get one free. Or I saw some crazy pineapples at the Japanese market, by the way. There's a mom that wakes up. Show my love for you. Why? 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 Why do they keep showing me these things? Так, девушка, стоять. Вы не проходите в клуб. В смысле? Я иду в клуб. Вы не проходите. Ты что, попутал шлагбаум? Руки убери, окей? I wish somebody could translate this. <laughs> I don't think any of our Russian mods are in. That's definitely not real, right? That did not click. Ginger? Ginger? Disrespect to the meat. Wow. I mean, so who made it? Wow. Wow. 
Okay, so something a little different. So, what was your inspiration for tonight? Be honest with me and go into detail. Wow. 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 Is it your first mat? Wow. Desperado. Sitting in a whole money dollar. Teeny, I've been in the situation that you're in right now. I know how it feels. I know how bad it stings. When I was in your situation, it was the thing that catapulted me to the next level. Every door that closes, for me more open up, and I know that that's going to happen for you, okay? Coming here cooking has been the best experience of my life. I'm coming out a better chef, a stronger chef, and I didn't even consider myself a chef before this challenge. I thought I was just a line cook. <laughs> You have to continue this incredible journey. Yes, Chef, I will. When I'm your hometown, we'll do a TikTok together. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> Take care, my darling. Thank you. I have literally tried almost every hair product that Sephora carries, so. She did have a little Dakota fanny. Thing about her. Who wants to help me solve a little mystery? Okay, so at the gym I go to, there's this white. I'm on the phone. Who wants to help me solve a little mystery? Not in three minutes. No, I don't. I told her that your dumbass spent all your money this month, and now she's gonna. Your boy Felicia. Oh, just one? Oh, uh, Bye, Felicia. What is this thing? Uh, guess the gibberish. Gotta save that. If you're seeing this video on your For You page, that means you're meant to be on my team, which is Team Strawberry. No. Get ready with me using my friend's makeup. No. What? Just to get my brother's Yo, what's up? You been hanging out? Yeah, I've been hanging out. Been at the club. Been at a club? Been at the club, been at the parties. I saw you at the club. Dude, time. some people oh, do no <laughs> crazy <laughs> camera work on their TikToks. Yeah, I've been hanging out. Like been this. Club. Shot a super club. professionally looking. There's another. I saw you at the club. Another one I saw the other day. There's two things that you should never say to Siri, part two. The first thing that you don't want to say is, hey Siri, when is the end of the world? You're not going to like what she says. And the second thing that you don't want to say is, hey Siri. Yeah, it looked like a commercial. Don't say I didn't warn you. Here's two. Hey, what's up, bro? Free samples? Oh, yeah, free samples. You're welcome, bro. What a nice one. Fazing the maunha de. Brazil. Vamos. Dude, okay, it's time to stop because like <laughs> Perfect perfect one to end on He's got cow socks Nah, I gotta log in next time because these wrecks are just actually wrecked We keep getting like the same six creators and then a whole mesh. Florida Project was not filmed with an iPhone. It was the movie before that. I think same director. Tangerine. Something like that. Man, Florida Project was good. I should rewatch that. All right, guys, I'm out. Uh, since I streamed today, Thursday, I'm not streaming tomorrow, Friday. But I'll be back Saturday. I did not. I still haven't seen that one. They invited me to the premiere for... Uh, after I read the description, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I'll still watch it at some point. Because I did hear good things about it. I forget what it's called. The, they drop, they name dropped me? What? Really? I didn't know that. 
That's kind of weird to invite and not tell you that. I'm kind of glad I didn't go. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate the support. Don't forget to check out my new YouTube video. Boom, right there, my review of Jedi Survivor, and you can find out why I deleted the game. Watch as much as the video as you your heart desires. The longer, the better. We're talking about videos still, all right? We're talking about my YouTube still. Like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube, all that stuff if you want to keep seeing more content. The more engagement, the more YouTube pushes out my future videos so more people will see them. We're done here, Aaron. We're out. English only, please. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys on Saturday. And here's Discord. You can also submit stuff to my Discord. Oops. You could also submit stuff to react content on my Discord for me to react to on stream. Read the pin messages, you know. All right, I'm out. Thanks again, you guys. See you Saturday. Bye.